So we now need to chamfer that edge of the soil pipe so that it makes it easier for pushing it into the socket. Uh, you can do it with a, a file if you want but it, it is rather time consuming. So I need to chamfer this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it there on the work mate and then I can revolve it round. And then I'm going to use my cordless angle grinder. So obviously I've got my gloves on and I have got my safety glasses on. So I've actually got a, a sanding disc in there which is quite abrasive. So if I hold that on there and turn the pipe we should be able to chamfer a nice edge on there before we cut it in half. So we have got a decent chamfer now on that edge which should make it a lot easier for when we come to insert that into the socket. So I'm now going to cut the soil pipe using a cordless circular saw and you'll notice that I've adjusted the depth so that it just goes through the surface of the pipe. It is dangerous doing this because we're using such a small piece so you've got to keep your fingers away from the blade and whatever you do don't put your fingers inside the pipe, always keep them on the outside. So I'm now going to touch the blade up to the pipe, I'm going to switch the machine on and then I'm going to gently lower it onto the pipe. And then once I've cut a slit in it I'm then going to revolve the pipe until I've cut all the way through it. And as you can see we've now cut the pipe in half completely. So you can now see that the pipe's been cut in half and we've got two nicely chamfered edges. So we're now ready to insert these into the sockets.